your endpoint, automated action, isolate on compromise. Some really cool stuff, the ability to automate a response based on severity. So let's go to outbreak control. We're gonna to go to automated actions. Then from here, we're gonna focus on isolated computer upon compromise. We're gonna set the severity to medium. We've got our group selected. We'll go ahead and make it active and we're gonna say save. Now, the goal here is, is based on a compromise or medium severity rating, we're gonna go ahead and automate the action of isolation. And again, it doesn't matter where the computer is, on-prem, off-prem, we're gonna go ahead and take that action against the endpoint. And we could have it where it's fully isolated, like in this scenario, or we could have it where we allow some minimal access um, maybe some critical services still are, are required here. You see the timeline was met and we can already see that isolation is um, stated as isolated on the secure endpoint AMP um, dashlet um, on the screen here. We went to Google, it didn't work. We're gonna go to the command prompt here as well. And we'll go real quick and try a, a ping test to see if we have access. And you can see we don't. So we've been isolated. We're now starting to see this show up in the dashboard as well as um, the action logs. And we're gonna check up both in a second here. So let's go ahead and check an event here. There's isolation started. We'll go ahead to automated actions. And let's check the action logs. We'll go ahead and pivot right into device trajectory from there. And look at that, we see an event here, isolation started. And it's triggered by automated action. Pretty cool. All we had to do is set this up. Most likely you're gonna use the default high severity rate, but again, based on your risk level, you may wanna do it at medium. Let's go back to events. And when we're in events, we could um, go to one of the events for that particular asset. We can go to management. And from there, we're able to stop isolation. We get some good insight, IP addresses, etc. Resolved, threat mitigated, whatever it might be. Now we'll go ahead and, and uh, stop the isolation that's in progress and what we should see shortly after. And this takes a little bit of time, about 60 seconds, I think I, I clocked it at. Again, it depends on your connection and everything else. Pretty, pretty cool stuff to minimize your risk.